Welcome to the Remote Therapy Summit. My name is Dr. Emma Shapiro, and I am the co-host of the Remote Therapy Summit and also the owner of DebtFreePT.com and co-owner of AlternativeHealthCareCareers.com. I am here with Dr. Dustin Howard. He is a physical therapist, and he is making bank right now doing virtual boot camps, and he's going to share with us how you can do your own virtual boot camps and he's going to share what that means too. And also some really amazing platforms that you may not have thought of that you can really find a lot of audience and a lot of patients on, such as TikTok. Thank you, Dustin, for being here. I appreciate you. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for having me on. Awesome. Well, I think let's dive into before COVID happened because, mm -hmm. you know, obviously you weren't doing virtual boot camps to start or at least as many. And so you really had to pivot. So let's talk about sort of your business model before and now and sort of how eye-opening that has been and actually really amazing, like we talked about. Yeah, so uh, anybody that knows me, like I sell high ticket stuff, that's, that's me. Um, that's what I do. You've seen me probably post in the group before, but um, I, I, I really sell high ticket packages. And um, one of my most recent sales was for $7,200 um, to one of my clients. And, uh, and I, I sold, I got another guy that I just closed for 8,000, uh, for his wife, uh, kind of doing a duet training at the same time. So, and that's for after all this mess goes away, but, um, mostly in person, I don't do a whole lot of virtual, although I do have, um, like I use a, a training app called Trainerize that I use uh, to program out my training for some of my clients that I, I work with. You know, whether I'm seeing them two or three days a week, then they're working out on their own two or three days a week. I use that to build out. Um, in fact, I built out a program for a guy today, uh, this morning, uh, for a workout for him to do. And, uh, and that's, that's kind of what I was doing before. Um, PT slash personal training is really what I do. Um, <clears throat> very much more on the fitness side of things. Um, I've always kind of gravitated towards it. And in all honesty, that's what people wanted to buy from me anyways, uh, was fitness. And so I just decided, you know, I'm going to go this way. And uh, the more I got into it, the more I found that, gosh, man, people are actually willing to, they're willing to pay a lot of money for this stuff. Um, and so I, I kind of got into working a lot with um, uh, a lot of entrepreneurs, business owners, CEOs, executives. I have a country artist I work with. I have a, um, I have a rock artist and I have a Christian artist that I work with. I'm here in Nashville, Tennessee. If you, if you didn't know where I'm at, but I'm in Nashville, Tennessee. Um, but, uh, you know, getting around uh, doing things the way I do it, it's, it's, uh, it's put me in the position to be in front of a lot of really cool people and they're amazing people too. Um, but when COVID hit, it's like everything went boom. and, uh, and I had to go, I basically had to go telehealth on this thing. And, uh, and I had to, um, I had to see some of my clients via telehealth. And some of them I just kept programming for. I've got one guy I'm just still programming for. Um, actually, two or three I'm, I'm still programming for. Um, and then the rest of them are pretty well just kind of like, ah, oh, let's just let this blow over. Um, and I've got one that, you know, she wants to do virtual training sessions with me. So I do those. Um, but then I came up with this idea. And I was like, you know what? I'm just going to see what happens. And uh, like I have, I swear I have the best ideas in the shower. Every time I get an idea, it's always when I'm taking a shower and I just have a light bulb moment. I'm like, why not do group sessions? I, one of my clients said, do you ever do boot camp stuff? I was like, I've never done boot camp because I've never done group stuff. And uh, he's like, you should really think about it. And I said, okay. And then when COVID hit, I was like, light bulb. Why don't I just do virtual on Zoom, do a boot camp there and bring people in? and just have a great time. We, you know, we, we do the thing and, uh, and record the video. So we have that for a replay that we can send to other people and kind of getting into the tactics of the thing there, but um, just started building that out. And it's actually something that people have loved and they're like, wow, yeah, can we do this more? And I'm like, absolutely, we can do it more. Um, and, uh, and so we've kind of been on the, on the free side of things and we're now turning over into um, more of the paid starting now to monetize. Gotcha. Um, and, uh, and I'm actually running Facebook ads right now. And I think uh, I, I can actually hit it really fast. Cause I, 
I keep it pulled up on my Facebook ads manager just so I can <laughs> keep an eye on what's going on. Um, I think when I last looked, I'd had like 50 or 60 people that had hit my landing page that's today. That's awesome. Just wow. today. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Um, that's, that's awesome. Yeah, that's well, just like 30 bucks ad spend. That's wow. It. That's a really good ratio. So that's like 50 cents uh, per lead you know, uh, for actual sign up. Yeah, it's pretty cheap. Uh, actually, link clicks is what it is. Um, so those are those are all link clicks and uh, 76 on that. And that's taking them direct to the sales page. I got leads. Man, we I, I did a, a free round of leads. Again, I'm getting a little bit more taxable here, but uh, I did a round of just like um, email capture and uh, lead generation. Mm -hmm. um, I did a round of those and I captured leads for like 30, 40 cents a pop um, okay. on that. And I mean, I think we grew our email list to like 70 people pretty, pretty darn quick. I could have grown it more, but I was just like, I, I'm, I'm going to hold it right here and let's see if I can yeah. start putting a uh, monetized version in front of people. Um, so it's kind of what we did. I grew it pretty quick. That's awesome. Well, I think there's a lot of benefits to starting to do this boot camp style or membership style is, is that, you know, you sort of get this. I remember I always work out harder when I'm in like a group exercise class. When yep. it's me by my own, I'm like, well, I'll do like five reps and lighter weight. But then you get into this like, um, you know, group mentality and you're like, I got to beat them. I got to beat them. I'm very competitive. Yep. So that, that's how I think at least, you know, or I got to keep up with them. And so, you know, even on zoom, I think you can, you can be that and you can have it be, be similar to an interactive gym class and, or fitness class. Yeah, totally. Um, we, we have a lot of fun on those calls, like a whole lot of fun. I and think that's really important. Stuff. Yeah. Oh, especially right now with everybody being stuck inside and social distancing and all that stuff. It's like every, everybody's like dying for interaction. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. I just want to talk to somebody, you know, well, that, that's really it. Exactly. They're just looking for, for that community again. Mm -hmm. um, now talk to me about your strategy a little bit. You said you've prim primarily doing free mm -hmm. and now you are basically showing an offer to those people that have attended right. your free classes. Right. So was the idea sort of to like, Hey, get them like addicted, get them hooked to this, mm -hmm. have them have fun give them a couple classes for free so that they're getting into that routine and then go into paid. Is that sort of, can you yeah. talk a little bit about that process? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm, I'm always a, a give first person. Like that's what I do with everything. Like even, in, even when you talk about coaching for like high ticket sales, which is another thing that I do, I, I give a boatload of content away in my, in my private group for that. I, I just do. And, and by nature, what that does is it actually endures people to you and makes them want to do business with you. If you give them something, they actually want to do something. Like, so if you give away, like sometimes, I, most of the time nowadays, I actually give a consultation away when I'm working with someone in person one-to-one. -one. I will give a consultation away, 100% free, just so I can show them, at one, I can help them, and two, I'm not just trying to take all their money from them, but then three, just really build that rapport with them insanely fast. Yeah. Uh, and it takes every, like, almost every objection out of the way when you show them up front that you can actually help them and then you move them into high ticket sale and they just boom they close on themselves because you've shown them a ridiculous amount of value it's the same idea low ticket but with a higher level of volume yeah we're, yeah. we're, we're just taking the thing and moving it into a different aspect so taking these people into a free offer saying hey why don't you do this and what's cool is we built this thing out with people, we just said, hey, how about, we, um, how about we host these sessions, which by the way, we had them sign consents that they would all be okay with us using their face likeness and image on video so that then we could use that as a, um, as a replay for people that could make the live. Yeah. So it gives us like a dual way of capturing, um, capturing leads up front for free. I mean, it actually costed us because we, we did paid advertisements too. Um, but it was a way for them to get into our world for free and then start nurturing through email lists. And everybody knows in an email list, you're going to get about 50% of the people to open it. Um, even less than that, actually click on your, um, you know, on your links to go. We, we all know this thing. Uh, but now what's cool is you can still, you have that email until they unsubscribe. So you can keep sending them stuff. You can keep saying, that, hey, hey, uh, I was thinking about you the other day. I wanted to give you an, another free um, workout. Here's just one. Go do this thing. 
Um, by the way, you need to be a part of the community. And you just keep reminding them that you exist. And then eventually they're like, oh, it's, it's like, it's 27 bucks. It's really not that expensive. Um, and then they join. Uh, and that's just kind of how you do it. That's awesome. Yeah, I think, I mean, I think of it like anything that we want to buy. Like, I just don't go out and say buy like a car. And I know that's a much bigger purchase than an exercise class, mm-hmm. but I just don't go out and buy something. I have to make sure it works for me. Yep. And I think a lot of therapists are, are a bit, afraid to do that because one they want to value their time and i get it i'm tired of being taken advantage of i get it but at the same time like it's just a phase you have to go into and and every other i think it it helps i was thinking about this the other day because i do some website development and Mm -hmm. do a lot of other things i'm helping people set up these zoom programs like what you're doing and you know i did a lot at first for free and i still do like i answer a lot of texts and facebook messages and, and that for free and what I think everyone needs to realize is that this is not just PTs that offer the first 15 minute consultation for oh. free. This is every single service has something very similar like this. Oh yeah. You um, look at like, look at the greats like Grant Cardone. Like he is one of the best salesmen on planet earth. He has free stuff. This dude charges a hundred grand for him to coach you. And you don't, by the way, you only get four sessions with him a year. Okay. <laughs> He gives some stuff away for free still to this day. He will give phone calls away for free every once in a while he does it. It's just, it's just the nature of the thing because there is no way for you to get out of obscurity. And, and I'm going to go into this really quick because I, this is one of the things I actually coach people on. Um, and most people are like, oh, I want to give away my stuff for free. I want to value it and buy all this stuff. Well, that's all well and good if people know who you are. Yeah. Yep. Yep. If you're a commonplace, you know, like Kelly Starrett, you know, boom, he is, he's a megastar in the yeah. training and the mobility space, 100%. but he spent so much time doing free YouTube videos yeah. and so much, so much effort yeah. and work. Exactly. They don't, you don't see all that on the front end. A lot of people see that success in the back end, but the truth is, is that they have put in the hours on the front end, giving stuff, literally giving stuff away for yeah. free because it takes you from a place of obscurity to a place of endearment with people. And when you get there, that's when you can say, Oh, by the way, here's an offer. Do you want it? And they get to make the decision. And they're like, most of the time, if it's something that solves a problem that they have, which that sales solves a problem they have, then they'll buy. And that's just kind of how it goes. Awesome. Yep. Well, let's get a little technical here because I mm-hmm. like the fact that you're really technical and I'm going to take advantage of that. <laughs> let's go for it. And also Adrian and Paula, thank you so much for coming on. We appreciate it. Yeah. If you have any questions, put it in the chat. You know, we're going to try to provide as much info and content right now, diving into a lot of specifics on how to drive and how to create your own virtual boot camp. And then we're going to ask those questions at the end. But if you do have any, think of them, put them in the chat, and then I promise I'm going to get to them. Uh, so let's dive into some of the specifics here. Yep. So you created your boot camps with Zoom, and yep. you said that you sort of had two phases of ads. Because I know a lot of people, the setup is way easy, guys. It's not about the setup. It's actually the conversion for clients that's yep. I feel like more of people's sticking points. Mm-hmm. So you had two different ads. Can you sort of talk about the mindset and, and that setup? Yeah. Um, actually, let me see if I can pull this up in my ads manager. Awesome. Um, yeah. If I'm, you feel comfortable. Yeah. I, it, I, I mean, I'm fairly open book. It's, it's really <laughs> not. Like literally you could go to virtual boot camps, Facebook site and pull up the ads that we're running right now. Okay. If you wanted to get, actually go look at it, you can legitimately go do that. Uh, it's, it's the way Facebook does things that have this thing called page transparency, which I'm giving all you guys a big hint right here, by the way, it's a big hint. If you want to find somebody that's killing it and model what they do, go to their actual Facebook business page, click on page transparency. It will show you if they're running ads, if they're running ads, you can actually see what they're running. I do that. Okay. That's awesome. <laughs> I do that. Okay. So I don't mind at all. Uh, if you want to share screen, I can share screen with you guys. If you yeah. Want. Yeah. I think um, I just have to make you a co-host here. One quick second. Yeah. It doesn't matter to me. I'm, I'm, I have no qualms about okay, it. Go for it. Yes. I, I think who, who wants to see uh, Dustin's screen here so he can share with us some of his ads and really dive into the specifics comment in the chat uh, ads. If you want to see Dustin's ads, pull it up anyways, Dustin, I want to see it. But, We're uh, going to go for uh, it. So people say yes. Okay. All right. So um, I did a couple of different things. They're, they're, Facebook, uh, if you know anything about Facebook, they have many, many different types of ads that you can run. Okay. Um, 
you have what's called a reach ad, which is more along the lines. I'm just going to pull this up in edit mode so you can see it. Um, and this is like, this is way behind the curtain right here. I'm taking you guys way behind everything. I believe this one, let me, let me look at it. Yeah, this was called a reach ad. Um, so when you're in Facebook under business manager, I'm going to do this as quick as I can because like legitimately I, it, it's been, I had to do like hours and hours and weeks and weeks of learning how to do this stuff. Um, but basically I've named this a free 30 minute workout. That's what I did. I, okay. I said, you know what, Facebook, I'm going to give away a free, free 30 minute workout, which by the way, was one of the workouts that we recorded. I just took that, put it on a landing page through click funnels, uh, had people drive to that page. And then they download or they opted in with their email. And that's exactly what you guys do every time you sign up for an email list. It's the exact same thing. Okay. Um, so what I did was I went in here. I said, okay, I want to go to as many people as I can. And I, I like at the time, I think I started at 10 bucks a day. Uh, and then I bumped it up to 25 bucks. I only ran it for like two days, two, three days. I didn't really run it for that long. Cool part about Facebook is when you get in, when you get something that's running really good and you want to like, like, oh my gosh, I need to ramp this up. You can actually edit it and it doesn't, it doesn't actually take it off, uh, offline for a while. Okay. Um, so that's, that's kind of what I did there. That's the design of it. And, uh, in Facebook ads, you can go through here and, um, I like personally, again, I'm give you guys like way behind the scenes here. Uh, I like to go from one to 2 million people. If I'm going for, for a, like a United States wide audience. You're going for a big reach. Yeah, pretty big reach. Gotcha. Um, and then I'm selecting based on like different things. Like, all right, I'm gonna target these types of folks. Like they like Gymshark, they like Peloton, Lulu, Athletica, Fabletics. I actually targeted women uh, on this one. And the more specific you get, the better it will be. Um, and then go into the ad copy. Like this and is that's, and while this is loading, and that's just because everyone, because you know, it, you only want to target people that want to work out. Like Justin's goal is right. people who want to work out. So that's why he's being specific with like yeah. workout gear, the Lululemon and all these different brands that are workout mm -hmm. brands that are fitness yeah. brands and all of that. You want to try to hone in so that your ads are only showing to, to right. the persons who want to work out and not the people who like potato chips. Right. I mean, the truth is, is if you don't do that, if you don't hone in on, on your target audience, you basically burn your money. That's yeah, that's exactly. Um, so anyway, yeah, I, I, we put this up and, um, like, I think the video, let me see if I can hit play on this thing and if it'll go, um, I think the, I think the start of the video is actually a TikTok. There it is. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so you've got yes. something fun. I catch you. Yeah. All right. So that's a scroll. That's what we call a scroll stopper, by the yeah. way. Uh, when you're talking about a Facebook ad, did that come through? Like, did the audio come through on that? Yeah. 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 I could hear the music. Oh yes, that's awesome. Anyway, um, if you want to go to that TikTok video, go to our TikTok virtual bootcamp on TikTok. You can watch the whole thing. It's funny. Anyways, um, it catches their eye, and it's not very long. It's like two minutes for the whole thing. Um, but it starts off there, and if you look through it, it's actually one of our part of our workout videos. It's not the whole thing. It's just like, hey, here's what we're doing, hey, and here's what you'll do on the thirty minute workout. This is kind of what you're gonna get. All right. So it showed them like, oh, yeah, this is something that I probably want to do. Oh, by the way, it got a share. Oh, by the way, you know, I need to sign up. It got some likes. And I didn't even run it that long. We had one, though, I, and I, like, I'd have to, I have to go back in my ads manager to find it. It just destroyed. Holy moly. I think we got like 10 shares on it. It, it was the same video. Yeah. I, I think I just like had it. I think it was on one of the other ad sets that I put up or one of the other ones that I put up. It just, blah, man, it just, it is still getting us leads like today because it's been shared so many times. People are still seeing, uh, even though I've stopped the ad, they're still seeing it. So um, that's a little bit of behind the scenes there. Like if you click on sign up, I think you can preview the URL. Maybe, nope, won't let me. Um, maybe I can do this. Let's see. Again, behind the scenes. You're and welcome. so is the goal with the ads, oh, shucks, uh, it, while, while you're figuring that out, is the goal with the ads to sell them right away or is the goal to try to follow them to the free boot camp where then we get them hooked, we get them in the mailing, mailing list, and then we sell after? Yeah, no, so the, the, the main idea behind all this 
uh, and I wish I could show it to you, but uh, it, I probably not, it would take me a minute to find it. Uh, okay. The main idea is to get them in on an email list and get them accustomed to opening emails and like responding to you. Some of my emails in my automated system, which is Active Campaign, which takes a like it gets a whole another mess that you like it, it's it's hours of work to learn how to master that thing. Um, but you can collect the, the thing about it is you can actually collect email addresses and things like that without having to go through all that stuff. If you want to do it single by single, you can do that. But the point is, is that you are getting people to say, I want this. I'm interested in working out. I'm interested in having a free 30 minute workout. I'm, I, I'm raising my hand is basically what I'm doing. Okay. And we had a lot of people raise their hand. Um, let me see if I can actually pull up the numbers on these. This is from today, by the way, link clicks. We're at 76 right now. That's where we're at on today. So that one is doing pretty darn good. Let's see if I can actually find it some clicks maybe. Oh, you know what? It's set for a different time. That's okay. It won't actually show these because it's set for a different, like it, this is set on today and they haven't been running today. So those okay. ads are, those ads aren't running. Um, but but I mean, right there though, I mean, look, we're, we're seeing that you got 7,530 yeah. impressions. Mm -hmm. That's pretty, that's pretty awesome right there. So, yeah. I mean, that's really good when you're having people actually stop and look at your ad and getting yeah. those impressions. Yeah. Um, and so that's, that's really good. That's on the um, reach ad. And this, this is the cost per link click. I mean, gotcha. that is low. That is really darn good on a link click. I'm not even gonna lie, that's, that's really cheap. And yeah, I mean, if you can take a 27 there. cent client and turn them into one, two, even your $8,000, that's, that's pretty amazing right there. Yeah. That's a really, really you know, low cost. I mean, that's the beauty of remote therapy. And that's why this summit is like so amazing. And I hope people like are really mm -hmm. like just sort of like so involved because the amazing thing is there's no overhead or minimal, minimal overhead and meaning like minimal, minimal costs for yes. you guys to start. And yeah. I mean, really it's, it's zoom, which, you know, there's other, some other platforms out there, zoom, like, you know, $15 a month, you know, if you want to get more fancy and get more fancy mm -hmm. and then you can, you know, have even MailChimp free for the tur first 2000. And then, um, and then you have your ads, which 27 cents, you know, for a click and you're, you're only paying for the click, correct, Dustin, or is it per the impression? Per impression. Okay. Uh, it depends on how you have them set up, but most of the time, the way Facebook works best is actually per impression. You're going to get better ad spend uh, and better results if you do it per impression. Uh, it's going to be a lot better. Uh, That's just the way the Facebook algorithm works. It, it, Facebook likes you to do things the way Facebook likes you to do them try to modify that too much facebook kind of is like I don't they're really very know. controlling facebook you're very controlling <laughs> pretty much and, and in part is because they have it figured out how people work yeah okay? in part they could like here's the deal they want you to spend money on facebook ads but they want you to succeed so that you can keep spending money on facebook ads like they really do like because otherwise they're not going to keep you on the platform and you're not going to keep spending money with them make sense yeah <laughs> so I have, a, I have a really important question because I know a lot of people, Facebook ads is scary. And a lot of people, you know, we have, our budget is tight, especially with COVID. But even mm -hmm. before that, our budgets were tight. You know, we have student loans, we have family yeah. as therapists, we don't always make that much money. So do you think, were you able to find clients organically through Facebook groups and through oh, yeah. other things, or is really ads the way to go? What's, what would be your advice? So when we first started, I didn't run a single ad to get the first few people on the, on the video. Like I, we had, I think six or seven um, on the very first call. Um, I can't remember exactly what the number was. It was either six or seven on our very first call that signed up. Actually, it was more than that. We had like 15 signed up six or seven showed up um, for the workout, but that was organic. I, got, I didn't run a single paid ad to that. It was hundred percent organic and it was through um, content producing, content producing and like reaching out to people, um, like reaching out to clients that I have, reaching out to other people. Like my sister-in-law is an influencer. Um, she has 22,000 followers on Instagram. So she put up a thing on her Instagram. It was like, Hey, my brother, she's a dietitian. 
hey, my brother-in-law is doing a, uh, a workout. It's free. You might as well join. Here's the link. And she has a swipe up thing. So she did the swipe up. Um, I think we had a, a few people sign up on that. Um, so captured a few email leads there. Um, yeah. Okay. So basically, like if someone was a little intimidated by Facebook ads still and wanted to try to test organic reach, your recommendation would be, you know, post on your profile, yeah. post in some related groups, and then, you know, do the different platforms like Instagram is huge for fitness. TikTok mm -hmm. is huge for fitness. I think maybe, maybe we'll dive into that in one second. Um, yeah. And then just, you know, connect with your friends and family and say, mm -hmm. hey, let them know that you're doing, you know, whatever it is, if it's a virtual bootcamp, it's a yep. membership, or if it's telehealth, yep. let your family know. And maybe, you know, through the tick trickle effect, more and more people know. Yeah. Let them know and get them to share. Get them to put out the stuff for you because Facebook, uh, organically, Facebook is all about engagement and community. That's why Facebook groups, when you guys, like if you're in ACG, you get 8,000 notifications. Why? Because Facebook is a community platform. Okay, That's why this stuff works is because Facebook says, oh my gosh, there are 17 or 18 or however many thousands of people that are in here this is a good community we need to share this with more people that's why facebook does that so if you get engagement that's why you see posts like um comment below like, yeah, yeah yeah comment yeah. below or what are your like, questions if you write it on there comment below on facebook facebook actually has an algorithm now that yeah. catches that and you <laughs> it, does, it, 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 it kills it <laughs> that's the way they do it if you do a video it works better <clears throat> a little bit there um, cause they don't, they don't do video yet. They're working on it yet. And, uh, yeah, no organically. And then like posting value posts in groups. Um, you can, you can always prime your profile. Like if you go to my profile, you can see what I'm about. I teach people how to do sales and stuff like that. Like, you, like we, we've all seen this, right? Um, go to Will Boyd's profile. What is he about? Oh, he's about teaching how to do ads and do online courses and stuff. Cause you can see that right up there on his cover profile. Uh, and you can make that. Go to Canva. You can make all that stuff. You can really do this. And so let's let's talk a little bit. We're starting to get into to advertising and getting clients because, you know, really the setup is quite simple. Like we talked about, you get your website, you connect with Zoom. And I will, for everyone out there going, yes, but I need to learn how to Zoom. That's okay. I'm, this Monday, I'm going to be teaching you how to do Zoom. So we're going to dive deeply into that. Um, and then you have your ads, you post organically, anything else to add before we go into a little bit about TikTok and how you are using TikTok to grow? Honestly, just be authentic and be you. I, I'm just going to be hundred percent honest with you. There's a lot of people that are like, I'm, I'm so-and-so PT and we do da, 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 da. And, that, and I'm just telling you, you're going to get the swipe real quick like i'm just i'm just telling you right now people are going to scroll right by you there is no way in tarnation that you are going to get anybody to stop on your stuff unless you stand out among the noise what's everybody posting out there that is in physical therapy right now telehealth all the yeah. telehealth all the telehealth is great it works trust me i know I actually did it with my country artist he's fine he's out of pain now it works i know but the problem is most people don't know that it works. So if you're just trying to say, oh, telehealth, do all this on telehealth, here's the deal. You're speaking a language that they don't understand. Be entertaining. Be authentic. Be you. Like part of the reason why I resonate with people, I don't mean this arrogantly, but part of the reason why I resonate with people, part of the reason why I built a following of people is because I'm me. And I'm just like, you know what? I don't care. I'm just going to do the thing and, and put myself out there. And that's why you see a Michael Jackson dance and bam, it goes crazy. And bam, then my client calls me. I was like, hey, I got a referral for you. And I'm going to have an $8,000 client after this COVID thing goes over because I did stuff like that. I think it's also because of the baby. Okay. <laughs> I'm just teasing oh, you. I'm just teasing oh, you. Oh, <laughs> hey, make no, never mind. I used the baby in, in <laughs> oh, she is, she is part-time payroll. I'm just going to tell you right now. <laughs> Um, no, I'm just kidding. Not yet. Not yet. Anyways, but I mean, in all honesty, it's great content. It is. It is. I love it. I, hey, I stopped to watch the babies. I mean, no, there's actual evidential proof that babies and dogs and cats, yeah. people will swipe. You of see course. a lot of ads. I see a lot of marketing ads and it's a man with a dog and yeah. it's got nothing to do with his dog, but we like dogs. We like cats. We like babies. Yeah. So 
Just well, we're just students, stuffer. but, but uh, I diverge. I just saw an opportunity to put a little joke in there. Oh, yeah. um, <laughs> but, but you're exactly right. Like, I'm sorry, but, but everyone right now is really trying to teach fitness and it's good for you. I'm glad that everyone is trying to like go out there, but it is true. Everyone is sort of doing the same thing. And so think about what can be different. Maybe it's like more martial arts fitness. Maybe it's, you know, like more parkour fitness. Like what can you do that's a little bit different, that's unique to stand out, you know, and maybe it's targeting moms, pregnant moms. Uh, I'm about to have my wedding. So I've thought about doing like wedding stuff, you know, for brides. Think of it like that and try to try to really like, you know, find your tribe. And I think that's where you'll really skyrocket. Yeah. Yeah, find your people, be authentic, and be entertaining. Just yeah. please be entertaining because most people don't want to watch your stuff. They don't want to watch you just uh, uh, don't overthink it either. I don't overthink it. Just 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 hit the hit the start button. Don't try to write a bunch of stuff down. Hit the hit the live video. Do it and and just be you. Awesome. Okay. And thanks everyone for, for continuing to stay on. If you have any questions, put them in the chat and I promise I'll get to them. So let's dive into a little bit about finding clients. So we talked a little bit about setup and about ads and, you know, paid ads, but now let's go into organic here. And so organically, you know, we have, would you say the three main platforms, if you want to do like telehealth and virtual fitness and therapy is Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok? Probably so. I mean, uh, it, it depends on who you're going after, in all honesty. It really depends on who you're going after. Like, I, I've gotten people for my, like, my executive types. I get them off LinkedIn. Um, and okay. uh, it just depends on where you're going. Like, you need to be where your people are. That's just the honest truth. Like, if, if your people are on Facebook, be on Facebook. If your people are on TikTok and they're just, like, creating dances and fun stuff like that, be on TikTok. I use TikTok to create content for Instagram. And so you Facebook. sort of are, you're repurposing it? Or? Oh gosh, yes. Oh okay. man. I, I very, very, very rarely will I ever create one piece of content that is specific for one platform. Hardly ever do it. I repurpose everything. Okay. Um, so you'll see, you'll see some of the stuff for, that you've seen on my LinkedIn, uh, on my Instagram, on my LinkedIn and on my Facebook. I mean, you, you see a lot of my stuff everywhere. And I think that's smart. It's like, especially, I mean, I know that each platform has its own sort of dimensions mm-hmm. and, you know, it's a 60 second clip for TikTok, I think now, and I forget mm-hmm. what it is for Instagram and Facebook's pretty unlimited with the clips. Um, yeah. But I think that's really smart. It's like, until you can really, you know, until you know where your people is, you mm-hmm. sort of have to post everywhere. And then, yeah. and then is LinkedIn growing the most? Is it Facebook? Is it Instagram? Yeah. Is it TikTok? And then you choose that platform. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, gotcha. It just depends on your people. Like, who are you? Who are you trying to attract? Like with virtual boot camp stuff, I'm not really trying to attract my, you know, uh, my uh, my entrepreneurs, business owners, executives. I'm really not going after them uh, with virtual boot camp. I'm not. I'm going after a much wider net with this because um, it's, it's a lower ticket offer, and there are a lot more people that I can get on this platform. Gotcha. That makes sense. Now are you turning it into a membership at the end or are mm-hmm. you're just those replays are cause zoom only stores so much. So what are you doing with the replays? They go into click funnels. Uh, so the replay, uh, well, the replay goes into my email sequence, which goes to my, um, it goes to my paid members. Okay. Um, that's what it's going to go to. So like gotcha. people that are on live, excuse me, like people that are on live, get to go, um, you know, they, they get to the live session, but that gets recorded and then it goes to the people that want to replay. It's gotcha. really simple. Um, it doesn't go through ClickFunnels. It didn't create a membership or anything like that. I just like email it. Gotcha. Shoot it out that way. Yeah. Well, I love that. I mean, everyone is doing their own different thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, we had Stephen Dunn who's doing virtual Pilates and he's created a membership. Mm-hmm. But I mean, that's the beauty yep. of this is if you don't have the money yet or don't have the time or don't want to create this whole course and membership, well, then, then that's a great idea is to just have it be free for the live. You want the paid. It was really amazing. You know, you put some enticing things in the email, you know, you have the price there and they can mm-hmm. buy the replay and get 100%. the replays for, you know, four ninety nine, And that way you don't have to have a course host or anything like that. Yep. Awesome. Um, any strategies when you're trying to get people, uh, 
other than being entertaining uh, and sort of posting videos that replicate your workouts, any other strategies you want to share for getting your clients into the virtual boot camp? Um, let's see. I do research. I find people that are actually doing good at things. Um, do your research. Like if your people are on, Insta on Instagram, go look at the people on Instagram, see what they're doing. Um, pull up, you know, pull up their Facebook page, go look at their ads. If they're doing ads, research things, then you don't have to test and figure out what's working. You're, you kind of know uh, what's working. Now the problem is, is they have a lot more exposure because they've been doing it. They've okay. been out there doing the thing for a while. Uh, so it's not really MES is a problem. It's just you're in obscurity. Um, so the only way to cure obscurity is to put yourself out there and continue to put yourself out there. But do your research, find what people are liking, find how you can make it entertaining, educational, um, informative. And that's the main reasons why people buy anyways. If you're entertaining, you're educational, um, informing, you solve a problem, that's the main reason why people are going to buy something. So if you do that, then you're, then you're on the right track. So go and research people. Great. Look at, look at what Jason and I are doing. You can do that. That's fine. I mean, you can go to our Instagram page. You can go to my Facebook page. You can go anywhere uh, if you want to. I, it doesn't really matter. That's, that's the cool part about this is the platform is pretty open for you to go check out people. Yeah, definitely. Exactly. You know, you can, you can follow people and see what they're doing. Comment yeah. below if you want me to pull up uh, some, some posts that Dustin's done so we can sort of see the posts and maybe dive deeper into those posts. So who wants to see that? And hopefully you do. And while you do that, I'm going to try to find, I found a good one because I took a screenshot actually of it for um, my post promoting mm -hmm. this talk. Give me one second here. It was early on. Everything's a little slow. Here we go. Okay. Uh, I'm going to share my screen here for a second. Okay. So right here, I don't know. Is there a way for me to make it bigger? If I click it. Awesome. Okay. So right here is the post that Dustin did on his personal profile. So if you missed out on the free, and that's in capitalized, free live workout, you you missed out. We had 23 people signed up and it was a great session. We have another one coming up. If you want to catch the replay on this one, comment replay and we'll send it to you for free. Mm -hmm. So let's, let's sort of dive into this post here because I really, yep. I really love it. Um, so tell me sort of about your thought process and, and why you put certain things each spot and hopefully that will help people, you know, create their own unique eye-catching posts. So first of all, you need to look at the picture. Because nobody's going to look at your text first. They're going to look at your picture. Okay. Look at the picture. What's going on in the picture? Jason and I are both acting goofy, goofy. like we normally do. <laughs> okay. Um, and where are we at? We're in our homes. Oh, this is interesting. Oh, this looks like it's probably a video call. Uh, interesting. What's going on here? So it makes you want to say, okay, let me read more about this. It's, a, it's what you call a scroll stopper. And I, you're going to hear me say that word a lot. Okay. Um, because if you want to create content that actually catches people, you need to create scroll, stop, scroll stopping content. That's what you need to do. You don't need to blend in with everybody. Create something that's going to cause somebody to engage with your stuff. Um, so we did that. And then you go into it and you say, hey, if you missed out on the free, oh, I said, this was free. You did this for free. Okay. You missed out. We had 23 people signed up. Oh, my gosh. So I'm putting those numbers in there on purpose. So people know that, wow, there are actually people gravitating towards this thing um, that this guy is just doing. And um, But if you only have two people, then I wouldn't put numbers in, right, Dustin? You don't have to. Like, <laughs> I mean, if, but if you have it, I, I'm, it. I, if you got it, flaunt it. Put it out there. I don't care. That's why I tell people I, I work with country artists and I work with rock artists. I tell people um, because I can't, uh, because I actually do. Yeah, I mean, I, don't, I, I am I'm almost I'm this close to getting um, testimonials from them, by the way. I don't have them yet, so I can't share who they are yet. But you better believe that's going to be on my social medias. <laughs> I'm just going to tell you right now. As soon as I get the video on that, it's going out. 
so if you got to put it out there, might as well, because it builds your authority. And it's one thing that a lot of people don't understand is you, you catch a scroll stopper, but then like, oh my gosh, there's a piece, there's authority there. Like 23 people signed up for this thing. There's got to be some weight to this. Okay. Um, and it's like, wow. Uh, and some of you sign up at the last minute. What? Yeah. It's more people sign up later. Wow. Um, it, it just, it, it's engaging content and it gets you to read the whole thing. Um, it was a great session. You can tell everybody's smiling. We're all happy. Um, and don't worry, we got another one coming up. So this is another way for me to pull more people into this, right? Um, so we got another one, 8 a.m. Central. You want to catch replay, comment replay. I know I said don't write comment, but in all honesty, you can do it. It will cut down your reach. It will. If mine got cut down on that one, uh, it probably could have reached more people. Um, but sometimes, you know, sometimes it's good just to say comment. You yeah. know, it depends on the post. Like, like I, there are a lot of posts where you can say, like, what, what are your thoughts? What did you mm -hmm. think? What are your ideas? Um, how else can we help you? There are things like that. And, and you can always do, like, the little arrow sign, you know, the finger mm -hmm. pointing. There's a little, you know, yep. emoji and that. Uh, but, but sometimes I agree. It's, you know, sometimes you just want to be, be frank, be honest, and yep. just say comment below. So then I see that your strategy here is that you sent a message. Now this, obviously, yeah. you didn't have their email yet, so this was a private message. Yep, yep, okay. sent to a private message. And then from there, I have my, um, so I have my landing page built out already, okay? So when I sent her a message, I said, hey, thank you so much for your uh, message. I appreciate it. Hey, real quick, because there are disclaimers and everything on it, because there are, um, because there are disclaimers that we have to give for people, uh, I need you to put in your email, name and email, so I can send this to you with the disclaimers and everything with it. Gotcha. That captured an email. That captured multiple emails, actually, um, off that post. Awesome. Well, I feel like we've, we've, we've done a pretty good job of deep diving into, you know, how and why you started to create the boot camps, sort of the technology behind the boot camps and then the funnel that you created to collect those leads and hopefully get paid subscribers. So thank you, Dustin, for being so, uh, you know, sharing so much and, and, yeah, of and, and being able to do that and being so open. Um, it, it, does anyone have any questions? Now is the time we're going to open it up for chat. If you have any questions, you know, Dustin is here and this stuff is gold. Like he's very open. And so now is the time he will, he'll take you behind the scenes. Uh, so any questions you have about virtual boot camps, about working with clients, about pricing strategies, uh, social if you media. you want to sign up, just let me know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. If you want to join his boot camp. <laughs> it's fine. It's $27 a month. That's all I need. <laughs> so, so tell me about the little pricing here while we wait for uh, yep. a couple comments. So $27 a month. You know, have you been getting any pushback? Because, I mean, I don't know. Oh, for really? me, I would maybe do like four ninety nine a month. So twenty seven seems a little high. What are your thoughts on how'd you come up with that? I mean, not really. You you, you think about it in in terms of like the net we're trying to cast. Yeah. If I am casting out a decent net, how much? How many people do I have to have sign up at twenty seven dollars to make thirty so thirty thousand dollars? A little over a thousand. Okay. Right. Yeah. If I do it that. Um, so with that, it's like, okay, I, I'm not necessarily going after just anybody that's trying to just like, Oh, just grab a $5 subscription. I'm not really necessarily going for that. I actually do want somebody that's engaged. Yeah. So, um, with that, I created, we created an online community as well. So like we also stack value. There, there's a, there's a whole nother concept on sales on this, which is, um, entirely different. So when you get into offer creation, um, which this is something that I actually talk about with a lot of my coaching students and, and the mentor program right now, we actually went over that two weeks ago in the mentor program, uh, which is really cool. Talking about offer creation, how you create an offer, why you create it and the way you create it. But I'm going to give you the short, the short version of it. When you're creating an offer, you need to create something that solves a problem that somebody wants and stacks the value for you. Okay. So the value on this uh, is, so number one, you get, um, you get five workouts a week, okay? That's number one, you get five workouts a week with modifiers to fit your level of fitness, pretty simple, okay? 
Number two, you get actual professionals that know what the heck they're doing. Number two, I'll put that on number two because, like, and I and I wrote literally on the offer. I I think I actually have it right here. I'll actually read it to you. Uh, it, it's it's on my thing. Yeah, is it virtualbootcamps.com? Uh, no, it's it's on the Facebook ad. Like, if you want to go to our Facebook page and actually okay. look at it, you're more than welcome to go there. But it's yeah. So you get a professional. You get a real professional instructing you on how to perform each exercise. Um, I can't remember. I think it was on the landing page where I actually went in on Instagram influencers. And I was like, not like every other Instagram influencer that wants to take the shirt off and show. <laughs> I just I went there. Um, but you get a, a real professional that knows how the body moves. Um, you get access to an online community of people just like you, crushing their goals and encouraging each other. You get weekly tips from the docs to maximize your progress and the opportunity to make money. And I wrote parentheses more about that later to give people something to where they would want to actually, hmm, I, want to I want to learn more about that. Um, so that is the offer. And then under that, like all of that together. Um, so that's the value stack. All of this together would normally cost $300 for this kind of a program. You're going to think we're crazy, but we're offering it for just $27. Um, and I can't remember exactly. He shifted away. Uh, it says click the link um, to view this offer. That's what it says. Down below. That's, that's not on that one. That's on oh, my okay. business business. So that would be on virtual boot camp. So if you want to look it up, virtual boot camp fitness. The view on the V. That one right there. Bingo. Oh, nice. And this is, this is a great example of a great page here because you have a video here. So it's right away, it's like drawing my eye to, to it. Once again, the baby, but uh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Telling you. But you want me to scroll down? Keep scrolling. Uh, I think that might actually be it. Oh, that's actually, that's a cool video. <laughs> <laughs> I, that's my wife. I shot that yesterday, edited the whole thing. Um, if you guys want to check that out, you should go check it out. It's, it's a video that I shot literally on my iPhone 10, um, and edited, did the whole thing has, it's got music behind it. It's like, it's got this most epic score music. It, it's, it's cool. Um, but yeah, I mean, you, you could see the post there. It talks about influencers and, yeah. and all this other kind of stuff. Um, hard to know who to trust. Da 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 da. -da. You know, one on an exercise program uh, designed by doctors requires one piece of equipment, parentheses, your body. Uh, and then it goes through, there's the offer again, right there, okay? Um, but yeah, that's, um, that's in essence kind of what's going on there. If you want to look at like our ads that's going up, you can hit page transparency over there, um, hit see more. Mm -hmm. This is how you go into looking at ads. Look, it's currently running ads right there at the bottom ads this page, go to ad library. This is how you do it. This is how you look at somebody's ads. Okay. There I'm like is spying on you. Huh? I don't Ooh. care. Um, so this <laughs> is one ad set. You can see number three. I'm running three different ads on that. Okay. That same post is run three different ways. Uh, so. Cool. You can go to add details here. Yeah, you, you can check the whole thing out if you want to. I mean, it's, it's like get the offer. Oh, and then here's where you can see the other. Yeah, and you can like if you click get the offer or get offer, it'll take you straight to the um, landing page. It should. Oh, yeah. perfect! Yeah, and this is what I wanted to show people. Yeah. So this is this your is landing, landing page. page. So this is literally his funnel, and what I mean by that is like literally this is Dustin's sort of flow to go from stranger to mm -hmm. potential uh, client or patient to actual. So patient. most of these are retargeted. Full disclosure, this is mostly retargeting people who had already engaged to some sort of degree with an ad previously or are currently uh, leads that I've gotten. Okay. So I'm trying to put this in front of fairly warm people and I did put it in front of some cold people, by the way, you remember what I said about, uh, influence, look what's on the video, go back up there. Celebrity PT personal trainer. Mm -hmm. Okay, I purposely put that right there. So people be like, play. Uh, okay, and then on that, it's telling people, go over here and sign up. And here's what you get. So, you know, talking about value stacking, what, what Dustin means is that, you know, you could keep this really basic and just have it be like, hey, 
you know, for $5 a month or $4.99 a month, you know, you can get, you know, two, two group exercises, but is that worth your time? Like Dustin, you know, he values his time. And so how, you know, with that same person, would you rather make $5 or would you rather, rather make 27? And all you have to do is add a couple more things that don't take too much more time. And now all of a sudden you've tripled or quadrupled your profits. That's sort of the, the value stack, right, Dustin? So you're yeah. trying to choose a couple more things. So he has weekly tips, um, access to an online community. Is that like a private Facebook page you have? A private Facebook group. Gotcha. And then professional I probably, instruction. I probably should put that on there, actually, private Facebook group. That would make sense, make more sense, actually. Gotcha. And then, and then it's, so basically, I mean, he could just have the five workouts, but then he's emphasizing that he's a real professional. And then you get this additional community. So you're getting additional access to him. You know, it's not as much as individual access. It's additional access. And then the weekly tips. It's not a lot more work, but it feels like enough. It feels like more accountability. Yep. And so that's why then he's charging the 27. Yep. Neat. Exactly right. I'm glad. I'm glad we got to, mm -hmm. and there's about the doctors. I'm glad we got yeah, to sort of look at the page, mm -hmm. some testimonials. Yep. Yep. Mm. I always want to have testimonials on there. So people are like, okay. Oh, he's actually worked with people. <laughs> awesome. Um, so hopefully that answers your question, Paul, about how many sessions. Any other questions here? Uh, otherwise, um, you know, we will. We'll be taking one more question here. Um, but thank you, Dustin. That was just amazing. I, I really, I really appreciate that we got to go behind the scenes because, yeah. you know, sometimes, you know, you hear a lot, a lot of talks and, you know, webinars and seminars. You're like, I want to see it. I want to actually see the flow. Yeah. I want to see what are you writing? What are you doing? How can I do that? Yeah. So that was, that was awesome. Oh, of course. And, I mean, I mean, the truth is if you can try to do that by yourself, I will be 100% honest with you. I spent a lot of money and a lot of time to learn how to do that. I can do that in like less than a week. When I was learning how to do all that stuff, it took me months to learn that. Um, that's why I wanted to show you that what's possible. Like that, yeah. that's, that's in product. You didn't see the hours it took me, like when I was building out that landing page that you just went to. Or the hair that, loss. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't, you didn't see that. You didn't see that, like all the, all the work that I put into it, how I got it to connect to Stripe so that I could accept payment and how I could, like, all of the little fine details. There's a lot more to it than you think, but it's doable. And you can certainly do it. You just need the right instruction. You need the right help to be able to do that kind of thing. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, uh, DJ, Paula, Winnie, everyone for being on here. Uh, we're going to have a lot more amazing uh, summit webinars coming up on Monday. I will be doing how to do Zoom um, so that you can at least have one piece of the puzzle. If you have any questions for Dustin, uh, where can people find you, Dustin? Yeah, I mean, so you can, you can always join the group, High Ticket Physical Therapy. That's my personal group where uh, – I do a lot of my mentor stuff out of. If you want to join the mentor program, we are currently at week five. I extended it by I think two more weeks because of COVID and everything. I just said, you know what? I'm going to give to people more. Um, so it was originally the program was $97 um, and then it, it up to $197. Um, kind of like you know, early bird, then you get in later. Um, but if you want to join that, just let me know. I can get you the link to that. Shoot me a direct message um, to my profile uh, and I will, I'll get you the link to that. It's 197. If you want to join the mentor program, we're going, I've already gone over um, mindset, avatar, offer. Um, and last week we went over like the most, I think quite personally, the most important aspect of sales that I think anybody ever, ever actually needs, which is identity and understanding who you are. Um, because there's so many people that are not authentic. And we talked about that earlier um, and how to be authentic, how, and like one of my students literally destroyed his life today. I mean, he, he destroyed it. He had so many people comment on that thing. And he was like, I was like, man, I saw your life. That was amazing. Man. He was like, yeah, I was just being authentic. Just like what you do. I was like, cool. Awesome. And uh, so if you want to join in on that, just let me know. It's 197 for that. Um, and uh, other than that, that's what I've got. If you want to join the boot camp, let me know too. I'll shoot the link for that. Awesome. Awesome. Well, thank you everyone for coming on. Uh, we also have a CU course this Saturday, the 11th. 
you can use the coupon code TELLE, that's T-E-L-E, -E, to get our four-hour CE course for only $30. It's about telehealth. Uh, Asha Gomadi will be on. She's owner of Therax Portal. So we'll also be giving away um, a couple months for free of Therax Portal as well, just so you can get started and, and go out there because this summit is all about just trying to really help you, provide you with lots of amazing information so that you can take action and hopefully so that you can help, you know, provide for yourself, provide for your family and just thrive right now. Um, uh, we appreciate you all and thank you so much for coming out. Give a little bit of love to Dustin if you don't mind. Give him lots of hearts and loves. Woohoo! And uh, we will see you all in the next Therapy Summit. Thank you.